here. It's me, Chesley. It's Sunday afternoon Bible story time with Kieran and Chesley, or Chesley and Kieran. I'm, I'm first. You're first. I know, Chesley. People really do look forward to seeing you and because they know I'm, I'm ready. And, and the girls love you because I flirt. Oh, I know. The girls love you because you flirt. Chesley, we're glad you're here because you have a Bible story. Oh, that's always good. You've got a good one today. You know, God was a well driller. God was a well driller. Who told you that, Chesley? You know, it, it's, it's in our story. It's in our story. Well, okay. That's right. We're going to talk today about how that God helps you in the time, even in a desert. No, oh, there ain't any the water there, is there? Well, Chesley, there is very little water, and it's hard to come by a lot of times. So we have a story today that talks about that. I need to sing a theme song. Yes, your theme song needs to get sung. This gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging at the train. It's chugging at the train. This gospel train is a chugging at the train. Chugging to the glory land. Yes, it is. This gospel train is chugging to the glory land. And who are we going to see in the glory land? Going to see Jesus. Yes, I am. Going to see Jesus. Yes, I am. Going to see Jesus. Yes, I am. Up in the glory land. And who can go, Chesley? Is it just certain people, certain age, or just live a certain place, certain country? Oh, no. They, uh, you just uh, go, uh, you, you have to ask him. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Well, Chesley, what is the ticket? What is the ticket? Well, how, how do you get the ticket? Uh, you serve Jesus. You love the Lord. That's right. You serve Jesus. You love him. Give your life to him. And that is the way we get to go to heaven. No, oh, I think it's a good thing. And so our story, we're going to talk about, uh, about God's well driller. Yes, Chesley, in this story, there was this woman named Hagar. Well, that's a goofy name. Oh, Chesley, now don't say it's a goofy name. She couldn't help because her parents named her Hagar. She's from another country. This was years and years ago in Bible times, in a Bible country. And she had a son here. Ishmael, that she loved him very, very much. And they were living with the family, and things got a little bit out of sorts. You know, what, what, what do you mean? What's the deal? Well, Chesley, she had been living there for a good while, and, uh, and so they finally, well, the woman there that lived there, she just wanted her to leave. I wanted her to leave? Why? Well, she said that the, her son, the two, her son didn't get along with with uh, Hagar's son, and she said, I, I want, she told her husband, Abraham, he's, you got to send them out of here. Send them away. No, where are they going to live? Well, Chesley, uh, this, uh, this, the father there, Abraham, knew that he knew that Hagar had a lot of family out there in the desert area. And, and so she could go. Then how is she going to get there? Is she going to take a train? Uh, Chesley, they didn't have trains. You know, put it down to the uh, camel train. Well, I don't know about any camel trains. The Bible's not talking about it here in this particular uh, chapter here in Genesis chapter 21. And this is verse 9 through 20. But Chesley, uh, she had to leave. And Abraham hated to do this. He said, this is terrible to do this. And he began to pray. <laughs> you know something? It's what you always do, don't you, when you get in trouble. That's the right thing to do. To get, We need to pray every day, whether we're in trouble or not in trouble. Love the Lord and, and, and be, be friends with him. Be friends with him. That's what Abraham was known as be a friend with God because he, he, he called on him all the time. Yes, he called on the Lord, not when he just had a need, but just when he wanted to talk to him and, and because that's what friends do. I know friends talk to people, whether they have a need or not. Friends like to talk to friends on just about any occasion. They're ready to visit because they care. And so Abraham was known as a friend of God. And he took this to God and he said, how can I do this? He said, my wife insists that I send Ishmael away and, and Hagar, and I don't want to do that. And so what, what did God say? God said, uh, he did he tell, you need to straighten out your wife? No, God didn't tell him to straighten out his wife. He said, you know what? He said, you know what? It's okay. I already know all about it. <laughs> and, and, and God knew it then. He knows everything. He already knew about it. He said, it's okay. He said, I know you can't take care of it, but said, I can. And, and you, are you saying God had a plan? God had a plan. Yes, he did, Chesley. He had a plan, and he didn't tell Abraham what it was. Abraham could trust him. He knew he could trust God when God said, I've got a plan. It was okay. He's going to drill the well. 
God didn't tell him he was going to drill a well. What he just said, it's okay. You go ahead and do what your wife wants you to do. <laughs> and now he's going to turn it over to God. That's what he did. Literally what he was doing was saying, Lord, I trust you. And I'm going to go ahead and send Hagar and her son Ishmael out in, in, into the desert. It was into the desert, but he knew that God was going to take him to the hand. It was, they might not could see God with their physical eye, but yes, God was going to take them. He was going to be watching. If they wouldn't be alone. They would not be alone. That's right, Chesley. Oh, and I tell you, it was really a difficult time for Abraham to see this happen because he was going to miss them. But at the same time, he knew God was okay with it. And so he committed that to the Lord. He, 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 tell, he, tell, he, he trusted God. He trusted God. He trusted him. He said, okay. He let it happen. Well, Hagar probably was scared. <laughs> she was nervous. And, and oh, what go to down Ishmael? Was he crying? Justly, I, I didn't know how old Ishmael was, and I looked it up in the Bible. He would approximately be around 19 years old. No, oh, he's a teenager. He was a teenager, yes. But here he was having to leave. I think he was, he was nearly tough, and he was looking forward to it. I don't know if he was looking forward to it or not, because the desert was a dangerous place. However, he knew his mother had been raised there and was familiar. Justly, they just had a little bit of water. Abraham made sure they had some, some food and a big thing of water and did they didn't have the a cooler well Chesley they didn't have the type of coolers like we talk about having a big a cooler made by igloo or or a yeti or something like that but he had it actually in an animal skin like an animal skin yes Chesley they put water in animal skins and that's how that's how things worked but they got out in the desert and so Hagar knew her way because she was raised there. She got lost. You know what happened? Why? Because she was scared. Chesley, she was probably in shock of being put out. She never dreamed it would happen. You know, and, and it shouldn't have happened. And she, she was in there all that time and, and she didn't invite it to live there. Yes, she'd been invited to live there and now here she's been cast out. Oh, she thought it was horrible. She got confused. She got what we call disoriented. She meant she didn't know where she was. She did not know where she was or what she was going to do. And what about the water and what about Ishmael? Well, Chesley, the water supply was going down. When you're out in the desert, you have to drink. I know you're not you're going to die. He's going to die. What are they going to do? I thought God was with him. Yes, he is. You know what he wants us to do? He's, he can do everything for us, but he wants us to call for him. You know, he, he's not just going to step in when you don't want him. He wants to be invited. He wants to know he's welcome. He was ready to help her, and she got so desperate there was hardly any water left. And now here was Ishmael was getting weak. <laughs> and so what was crying? They was crying. I believe she was crying as she saw that Ishmael had become so weak. <laughs> they can't go get some water. Chesley, the wells, this is another thing that I found out. Did you know there was so little water there? It was so hard to find water. And when anybody did find water and they had dug a well and found some water, they would make sure they hid it. They would cover it over. And so you couldn't, it wasn't easily found. Oh, I think that is just cruel. Well, Chesley, it was a cruel thing now because they were desperate and she was lost. She was confused. And, and you know, you, you just would overlook things. And she couldn't see any trace of a well. And so she called out. To the Lord, and the Lord heard her. <laughs> what did he say? Hagar, I'm right here. He said, Hagar, what is the problem? <laughs> oh, you mean he didn't know? Yes, he did know, but he wanted her to tell him. And she told him the problem. She was desperate for water. They were going to they were gonna die of thirst right out here. And she had been cast out, and it was so wrong, and what can I do? <laughs> oh, and who got it down that little kid? Well, the little kid, that teenage boy, he was over there nearly dead. And Hagar was so upset, she didn't want to see her son die. She didn't want to see that sight, so she went away, a long ways away. And when she cried out to God, he said, look up. He wanted her to look. Said, she looked, said, look up. And she looked, and there was a well. There was a well, and God had dug it. I, I don't know whether maybe God did dig that well, and again, the well, just he just made it happen. Chesley, but I like to think him like him digging a well. You know, in her sorrow and grief, 
he dug a big old hole in that sorrow and the grief she was going through and there was the answer and there you know it was like water it was like cool clear water when he spoke to her and he said open your eyes oh and there he was and it wasn't there before it wasn't there before but god is on the scene he provided the water he was there he said look and there was this well and she filled up that skin with water and they drink and they drink and they drink and god had a plan just like abraham had been told by god i've got a great plan for ishmael and and, and look like he was gonna die and he couldn't do it but god said i'm gonna make him a great nation and he did and even today that nation the arab nation still they are in very much involved in world affairs god kept his word to abraham he kept his word to to Hagar and took care of her and there in the middle of a desert when she had no one to help her and when she was lost God knew right where she was he knew right where she was and provided for her Chesley that uh, you know what that applies today and, and God he's, he's still making a way he's still making a way when you have issues and things that you have nothing to do with and problems have come up it's not things that you've created a problem yourself and he like you need like this little thing well, that's right. Sometimes, uh, you know, if you're a child and you disobey and all that, you've created your own problem. The Lord can help us, but it has to be that we become obedient. And what about like in school if you don't study and then you ask God to help you with, your, with that test? <laughs> oh, Chesley, that's right. You need to study for the test, and that way when you, you get to school and if you don't know the answers on that test and you've studied, you can ask the Lord to bring it to your mind. And what if you didn't study? <laughs> Well, if you didn't study, you're kind of on your own. But right now, what you're on the own on it's you're on your own now to go to bed. No, not yet. I knew that. Listen, doesn't it, Chesley? You need to go to bed because you know what? We have other things to do today. We're gonna be, be going to church here in a little while. And, uh, I want to go to church, Chesley. You can go to church another time. But right now, you're getting to go to bed. You know, I'm being banished. No, you're not being banished. We'll see you next Sunday afternoon. The Lord willing, Chesley, tell everybody goodbye. And goodbye, and I'm being banished. No, you're not know, being banished. You're going to bed. See you next time. Tell everybody hello. I'm glad I was here, and I don't want to leave. I wish I didn't have to leave, because you know what? Those ter- those termites, there's flying ants in, in my dr- No, there's not termites. They're not flying ants. Chesley. We will see you next time. I, 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 I'm going, then I don't want to go. I know you don't, but you'll be fine. See you next week, Chesley. We love you. We'll see you next time. You have a great rest of the day.